Hello, student. I know today you uh, enjoy your spring break, but few students email to me about the homework assignments number six. So that's why I try to post the instruction for make sure that after the spring break or during the time on spring break, if you feel uh, want to start with assignment number six, it's ready for you. Okay, so this assignment is uh, have two park, park A and park B. So I just want you to go with this A, the file uh, put on the homework assignment number six. You can see that's the page five, eight, nine in uh, drawing book, but you cannot find it if you not order the book. So basically, this one it covered two parts. This is part A. It start from here to here. They give you one floor plan and elevation. The floor plan right here, you can look at this. This is the seating. So you look at this around here. You see the low wall, and this is the seating. And you see this one is uh, the back seat. So now, if you look at elevation, for example, you see this is two seat right here. You can to see this right here, and this high elevation to show the height. So this is the height for seating right here. And in the second part right here, this is the seat back in the right here. So the height is like this, and behind of that is the low wall. And you can see that this is the low wall. This here, the highest one right here. So basically, they give you the floor plan, and they give you an elevation for the height from that one. And this is interior um, perspective. So you see the seating. When you stay right here, for example, you see three seats right here, and also you see two seats right here with the back seats right here and the corner. After that, you see whole thing around the seating. That's the low wall right here, around right there. So you this one for elevation when you draw the viewpoints. So you stay right here, you look both sides. And you need to draw follow the way we do before for two point perspective. After that you this one like guideline for dimension, elevation height. Okay. This part A. And if you want to look this one, you can go with the web link. Right here I give you the link that I have instruction for part A. This is part A, and you go with the link. We have um, one short video for instruction, or you can do uh, part A. Today, I will share with you about part B. Part B, they give you the shape like that, the floor plan like that, and you look at this. They have three different projects, and each of them have different angle. You can see this one is the lowest one. They have the angle like this, if you compare with uh, the picture plane. After that, we have the big part right here. They have the angle. Look at this. It's bigger. And the other part right here on the right side, they have the angle is different. So that means this one you can call that the multi, uh, multi view. Because each of them you can see like two view and the other one you can see two view. A different one. So now, with this one, they give you the floor plan right here, and they give you elevation right here. Elevation, they give you the guideline for the height from the building. For example, you see the low part right here, the first one, and the highest one from that building is like this. And the second part is right here, the big part from here to here, and you see the height from this one. The little one right here is this one. And you look at this, the angle right here, the triangle, and this one. They give you the guideline for each of them. Um, uh, elevation height so floor plan right here elevation right here and the guideline right here they ask you to draw 116 inches equal one piece zero inches but you look on architecture scale we didn't have 116 inches but we have 18 inches equal one piece zero inches 116 inches that's mean it equal with one over eight inches over two so that means if you see the scale is one eight inches that means you need to double scale smaller for make sure you have the scale one sixteen inches 
instead of that i think that's um, maybe some student not familiar with the architecture scale they will get confused so that's the reason when i i have you to solve part b i need um, you to do uh, your choice either you can join 116 equal 150 inches or you can use the scale e 332 inches equal 150 inches because I'm sure that's on architecture scale you have 3 over 32 inches equal 150 inches you don't need to you know convert from uh, 116 to 18 inches in the scale okay so now I have you to do for part B if you do the part B this is the floor plan and this is a picture plan this is horizontal plan and this is crowd line. So three of them right here, they give you the guideline like this. So you need to follow this one when you start to do the part B assignment number six. This one, this one. Okay, so now, uh, for example, this is the projects. And I use the scale three thirty-two inches equal one fifth zero inches because this one if you're not familiar with architecture scale, you need to transfer from 1.8 to 1.16. Maybe you get confused. So that's why I circle right here for make sure that you can do 332 inches equal 150 inch to draw for this homework assignment. With 332 inches, and I have dimension right here for you. So that's why you just follow dimension and you draw that. Okay. This is the projects. And like I told you, we have different angle for each side this is different with the one right here so that's why you can call that the multi view uh, picture multi view the um, perspective for this uh, projects so now step by step for easy to do the first one I need you to draw the projects and after that picture plan the line it touch with two point from the projects so you draw this one I call that picture plan and the second one it is horizontal line or the one in your version you can see that and this line and last one is the round line okay so now you need to create the standard point standard point the one you can see both sides from the building you see this side and you also see this side also and I need you assume for the angle from the end from the left one to the end from the right one you make the angle around 30 degree and that's why you can stand right there to look at the projects 30 degree because that's why you can see both sides okay so if you see the red light right here I need you create that for around 30 degree and this is the standard point so now you look at the dimension one more time I use the scale 3 32 inches equal 1 feet 0 inches and I measure from the round line to the horizontal line around 10 feet uh, more and plus plus uh, I mean uh, plus and minus that means around 10 feet right here from the round line to the horizontal line after that I have 34 feet 0 inches to the top of the picture plane if I use this scale okay so now I push right here from the horizontal line to the four feet that's mean where you need to stand right here to look at the projects is around four feet so 34 subtract for four that's mean from the picture apply to the center point is around 30 feet zero inches okay so right there so the first one you need to create this one now after I ask you to do for picture plane horizontal line and round line I call that number one that means you draw three of them number one step one step two I need you from standard point you create parallel line to each side from the projects for example this is the right side and you see that this line is different with this one the angle is different and you want to create for the parallel line for each of them so for example this one I create from here to parallel line to this one and I call that vanishing point right one that means the vanishing point on the right side number one after that I do this line you see the longer line with the angle is different right I draw the line parallel with that one parallel 
with the, the long one right here and this is on the right side so I call that vanishing point right to okay okay I repeat from standard point I draw the line parallel with the short one right here and I create when they cut with the picture plan and I call that finishing point right number one I do the same thing with that the line parallel with the long one right here and I call that vanishing point right number two when they cut with picture line okay so when you get the point like that you just project down 90 degree to the horizontal line same thing 90 degree with that means you reject straight to the horizontal line and of course this point is belong to vanishing point right and vanishing point right also number one number two and this create like that I call that number two on the right side okay so now I do the same thing with the left one from vanishing uh, from standard point right here I create one line parallel with the purple one right here and when they cut with the picture plane that's why I project down 90 degree to the ground to the horizontal line and I call that finishing point left number one I do the same thing like that from standard point to create the line parallel with the second one. Oh, the first one is parallel with the short one right here this one parallel with the short one right here and we have the vanishing point one after that we create the line right here parallel with the purple one right here you look at this this one this one is parallel and when they cut with picture ply you project down to the horizontal line you have vanishing point line two and on the dumb right here I call that step two that means step two you need to create the parallel line for each of the projects in the right side and the left side so you have number two okay so on this picture you just use the scale the dimension after that draw the parallel line for each side for example this one create this one and the longer one right here create this one on the right side on the left side this one the short one right here create the parallel line right here and this one parallel line right there when you create the parallel like that it cuts with the picture plane and you need to project down to the horizontal line 90 degree project down 90 degree for make sure that you have the line the points on the horizontal line okay so that's it for step one and step two we go with the next one remember on the point right here we need to mark it for make sure that you go to um, the, the next step you have the point already standard point and on a finishing point okay so this is um, step 3 and step 4 or 5 so now in step 3 I need you to do if you see right here that means the point you do you create from first uh, step 1 and step 2 so now this is step 3 in the step 3 you look at the projects the point they touch with the this is the picture plan the land right here the plan right here we call that the picture plan so now if you look at the point they touch with the picture plan just project down to the round line and I call that's number 3 you see that's project down and I call that's number 3 number 3 so now you look at this on the top right here remember on the first one when you see on the projects they call that the elevation and I just move the elevation right here for make sure I have the height line and this is the round line so that's why everything right here is this part okay that means I see the top high from this one this the, the low one from this one in the middle one in the angle right here so that's why on of them right here I just you from the given 
I use the given elevation and I move it right here for myself okay and I call also number three on our finishing point left right right here is from the first step when you do it and the second one uh, when you do this one so this one I keep that one for the next step okay okay so basically I have on up the point right here from the step two and after that the point touch with the picture plane this is the picture plane and I just project down to the round line you see that point that point and that point I project from this one down and I use the height from elevation I just mark it right there so on of the tree right here I have the point right there for the height from that one okay from the height at the top height okay so now from that one you need to combine with finishing point after you finish step 3 you start with step 4 okay so now if you look at vanishing point for example this one this one is vanishing point 1 right here right there so on of the project you look at the green one right here from the point the point they touch with picture plan right here I connect with the vanishing point line so you see that top right here so I go with this one that's it the view view ray view line you see that that the view line for the green one so now same thing with this one you also see the view line the point right here right it here the highest point the highest point this for this one and vanishing point right here right so you just connect this one with the view line and you know how much the view you can see on that one same thing with this line but I because the, the low one cover high from the high one uh, behind this one you see this line right here they tie this line so that's why you see this part outside and this view high by the purple the low part on the top I mean in front of that you can see like this so I didn't draw that slide but it's inside there like this okay so now continue with step 4 you need to uh, draw for the the perspective line or the ray line so now from the center point I look at the corner from the longest one the yellow one you see the point right here I draw the line from center point you see the red one touch with this point and when they cut with the picture plan this is the picture plan I project down 90 degree to the round line and you got this one you see that and that means that's the end point from the big building is right there and you connect with the view because this one is number one and the long one is number two is right there so you connect with this one and you get this one same thing on the top one so you see the light green right there is the park right here okay so one more time you send a point you draw the end point right here when they cut with picture plan remember project down 90 degree to the round line the first one you do straight like that after that you use the point to connect with the vanishing point too because this one belongs to the vanishing point too so you connect with this one to this one same thing with the top one and you stop right here so you got the last one in this point you do the same way on the left side from standard point you draw the ray line that means the lights very nice one construction line to the point on the purple right here when they cut with the picture plane you drop down 90 degree and you have this line after that dimension you remember dimension you get from the second part right here you can do the viewpoint like this and the viewpoint like this so you have this one from the end point from the purple part and you use the, the, the viewpoint to combine this one and this one is the high from elevation you get the guideline this is the guideline 
and I just mark right here. So remember last time I told you which point touch with the picture plane when you drop down to the round line. This one you call that dimension or measuring line. That means the line you use to measure for elevation height. For example, this one. You drop down to the round line because it's touched with the picture plane. So this one you can use that one for measure, measuring line. You measure the dimension from elevation. So I mark right here for you can see this one and this one. Okay. Okay, so the purple part when you do is low because the guideline they give you low, so you have low like this. The mark right here with the view right there. The view right there. And the end from this one is start from the point right here. You start from standard point, start with this line. And when they cut with picture plane, you drop down and you know the end from this one. So now you look at this line. The short one from the ring, the light, the light ring. You use standard point, you draw the line there. When they cut with the picture plane, you drop down and you know it's here. So you look at the little right here, it's, it is part right here. And because this one is the green one, remember when we start from the beginning, this one A, you draw a vanishing point one, and this A, vanishing point two. So that's why right, right now in here, you need to combine with vanishing point one. And you know that's how high from uh, the little part right there. And you color that because it belongs to the ring. Okay, and this one is the guideline they give you right here. Again, you mark the right line on the dimension line, and after that, you draw the angle right here. Same thing, start from the standard point, and you do this part like this. So basically, that's on of the part two uh, for homework assignment number six. Remember, I put the number right here for you, easy to remember. And this is I put number five for you can uh, do the project line from the other part right here. You look at the block, that's mean number five when you drop down 90 degree to the round line. So I draw and I try to color for different colors so you can see that. After you do this one, you want to double check for which one you do, and this is the way how do you check on of them. After you do, you see that you see the guideline I use from elevation one. They that's it, the given information, and on of them right here. I try to do different color for you. Uh, easy to look at this, but you can do same color it depend on you. This is the guideline for you can do home projects. And this one I just separate for make sure that you can do step by step easier than. One more time, you can use the scale 116 or 332. It's up to you. If you use um, the scale 116 and you didn't see on the uh, on the scale architecture scale, you can use 18 and you time uh, you divide by two. So that's why it's smaller than 18 because it's 116. It's smaller than uh, 18 two times. So that's why you need to, I mean, divide by two when you use 18 scale. And if you follow me, you can do 332 inches equal 150 inches because this one is on the scale. So it's easy for doing. And if you use this scale, this one I dimensioned for you already. <coughs> I'm sorry. So you can do step by step in part two. And you do this one. Uh, you finish the homework num uh, homework assignment six, part B. Okay. Okay, so uh, pop A one more time. You can go to the link. I have instruction over there, so you can do that. Pop A, and after you finish for you know um, perspective point ready, you need to add two human figures, one people sitting and one standing discussion. So uh, I need to see your, I mean, you draw two person one sitting and one standing talk together one people sit on the chair and one people stand around you know outside and talk with uh, the other ones so if you finish part a and part b for homework assignment six uh, i think this one is the homework after that number seven 
uh, number 8 and number 9 number 10 so if you do this one very good I have a uh, good news for you so after I see assignment number 6 if you do very good and uh, you have very good records on number 1 to number 6 I give you one very good news later uh, about uh, homework number 9 and number 10 okay number 7 and number 8 I think that's easy so that's why I can combine both of them in one instruction maybe um, or I separate this but actually it's the easy one okay so thank you so much for watching and see you next time